Until now, you had to have memory loss to have Alzheimer's. But soon, so, even people like Atlas Bailey, 75 and sharp as a tack, I can play Name That Tune with anyone. Could be considered an Alzheimer's patient, according to a new proposal tonight from the nation's top researchers, who say brain scans could diagnose the disease decades before symptoms. Alice is among an estimated 30% of people over 65 with plaque, clumps of protein in the brain that could be an early warning sign of Alzheimer's. She only found out when she signed up for an Alzheimer's study on a whim. They're normal. But they have amyloid plaque buildup already. That is in exactly the same pattern that we see at Alzheimer's dementia, but not quite up at those levels. Dr. Risa Sperling is now looking at treating notes, patients like, like Alice with medication notes. before symptoms start. If you give somebody a statin to lower their cholesterol when they're already in the cardiac ICU, you can't fix their heart. But we've saved millions of people by lowering cholesterol. We have the chance to do that in Alzheimer's disease now. I was a teacher. Results for Alice's and study should be complete in four years. And I love looking at my photographs and the past. I don't like the idea of forgetting those. Hoping the future holds a cure to keeping the past alive. So, Kristen, does this mean people without symptoms should begin getting brain scans? Well, not yet. The new definition is really meant for researchers so that they can try treatments much earlier. It's a new way of thinking about Alzheimer's. If they're successful in these trials, then yes, we could down the road see brain scans become an important screening tool. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.